gathering, we're just going to begin with a few songs of praise and worship. Oh 
welcome you here, Lord Jesus, and we welcome the rest of you here as well this morning. I'm Becky Gerber, for those that are tuning in online or audio that may not be able to see me. Um, for a call to worship this morning, I had picked out Psalm 91, verses 1 to 4, and it reads, Those who live in shelter of the Most High God will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will, never, he will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and your protection. And I have really been clinging to those words in Psalms these last few months as we've been going through this pandemic and learning a new way of life and a new way of, of focusing on things. And what, what really has stuck with me is that God has not changed through all of this. He is still sovereign, he is still in control, and we can just rest in that comfort of knowing that he is in control in all of these times that we are so unsure of things. Um, for announcements this morning, I, uh, I just want to make a few highlights, and if anyone has an announcement that they need to make, if they wouldn't mind making their way up to the front over there um, to share that announcement. Um, just a few announcements that I have been asked to, uh, to make highlight of is just that there is a leadership meeting coming up here at church on Tuesday at 7.30. Um, and just again, our upcoming baptism uh, class, or up to, uh, sorry, baptism and membership transfer services that again next Sunday there is going to be two services at 8:45 and 11 um, and just to mark ahead on your calendars um, Sunday October 11th Maple Views 161st celebration here at church so mark that on your calendar as well as Monday October 12th there is going to be a Thanksgiving service here at 10 a.m. If anyone else has an announcement, nope. So for today's offering, uh, it's for the parking lot expansion and building fund. And usually about this time of the year, we have this wonderful chicken barbecue fundraiser, uh, which goes to, to these funds. So think about this, I guess, without the chicken. Um, just mm -hmm. put a bit of money in for that. Um, but yeah, so there's a number of ways that you can give. We won't be passing the plates around today, but there's... There's ways to give by pre-authorized debit. There's information on the inside cover of your bulletin on the different ways. If you're here and you want to give, there's some lock boxes out, one in the lobby and one on the south end entrance of the church. So uh, let's uh, just pray for this offering. Lord, we just thank you for the abundance that you have blessed us with. Um, we just thank you that we have way more than what we need. And we just uh, we pray that as we give today that you would bless each gift and that you would bless the, the giver and that you would you would just uh, use this money um, for the the building 
that we have here. We thank you for the opportunity we have to, to come together to worship in a place like this. And as we look ahead um, to when there, we can come in, in the entire congregation at once um, and that we have needs for a larger parking area and so on, we just pray that you would just bless this uh, for the future. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Let your fragrance rest in this place As we gather to seek your face We have gathered to seek your face Father God, we have come this morning looking to you as our hope, as our help. God, I just thank you that your glory is in this place. And I just pray that you will just be with the rest of this service, be with those that are being baptized this morning. God, I just pray a special blessing on them as they make this commitment before family and friends and before you, God. I just pray that it will renew in us our own commitment in serving you. Father, thank you for all that you do for us. Amen.